Hello friends, this is Durga again from my university, you know, stop stop to learn all the technologies. So as part of this uh, video, we will see how to set up Eclipse with Maven plugin. Uh, so first, there are certain prerequisites which you need to understand. <coughs> you have to make sure that Java 1.7 or later is installed. If you have 1.8, it is good enough, it is highly recommended to have the latest version of Java. So first let us uh, run um, whether we have Java or not on our machine. <coughs> so if you are using Mac, it is very easy, just on Java version and see if we have uh, which one it is uh, uh, um, re uh, retrieving, <coughs> which version it is using. And also it is always better to have JDK. Uh, so um, so you can run this command sudo find slash hyphen name star JDK star hyphen type D to make sure that you have JDK installed on your Mac. If you don't have, you have to install the latest JDK so that uh, you can run uh, any of the Java applications with the latest version. As of now, 1.8 is the latest version of Java. That being said, as we have the Java version, now we have to install Eclipse and Maven. So there are many um, versions of Eclipse where Maven is already there. So either you can uh, set up Eclipse and then add Maven to uh, add plugin to Eclipse or you can actually download and install um, uh, Eclipse uh, versions of Eclipse or flavors of Eclipse which which already have the Maven. So the most pro uh, popular ones are uh, uh, the Luna Eclipse, L-U-N-A, Luna Eclipse and also Spring Tool Suite. Spring is a, a framework, it's a very famous framework in Java and they are uh, they have <coughs> Eclipse with Maven plugin. I am uh, I am uh, relatively more comfortable with the Spring Tool Suite, and also I felt it is a lot more stable than um, uh, regular Eclipse. Eclipse Luna is also very good uh, flavor, um, but I I prefer Spring Tool Suite. It comes uh, it is a, a version uh, it is a flavor of Eclipse where uh, Spring components are already configured. But uh, if you want to use this Eclipse for uh, MapReduce programs, then um, it doesn't make, uh, it, uh, the Spring Tool Suite uh, does not add any value, but for Spring projects it does. So we will see which projects we will use, but for all the projects we can actually set up Spring Tool Suite, for all Java projects we can actually set up Spring, Spring Tool Suite and we can add necessary plugins later. <coughs> so that's Spring Tool Suite. Um, it actually comes with Maven plugin and uh, I recommend it. If you already have Eclipse, there is no need to uh, install a Spring Tools with again. You just have to make sure that you have the Maven plugin or you have to add it. So now let us un understand how to set up Eclipse with Maven plugin, which is Spring Tools with in this case. <coughs> you just go to spring.io, that is the website. And if you scroll down, there is a link called tools here. You can go to the tools and here you can uh, look for Spring, Spring Tool Suite. And automatically depending upon the type of laptop you are using, if it is Mac, it will uh, give the link for uh, Mac. If it is Windows, it will give the link for Windows. You just have to download. If it is executable, you just have to execute it. If it is a tar file. Uh, like this, you have to untar it and uh, unzip it. Okay, I already have had it, so I will be using the existing one which I have already downloaded. <coughs> so, here you go. So, what you have to do is you have to copy to the directory of your choice. So, in this case, I have copied to my home directory. Okay, so I am going back to my uh, terminal and uh, going to my home directory and uh, here you can see the spring tool suite so we have to run tar xzf so tar xzf is the command to untar and unzip if the file is both tarred and zipped in this case if you see the extension of the file it is tar and uh, also it is zipped so we have to use xzf 
if you if it is not zipped you 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 can directly use access but in this case it's a tarball which is zipped so x is to extract the tarball and z is to unzip the tarball and then you can actually give the tar uh, the zip tar file name and it will create a directory okay it has created a directory called sts hyphen bundle <coughs> so this is the one which will have the uh, sts or spring tool suite so we can now go to sts bundle here and double click on it and you can see the sts file here you can double click on it and then it will start the spring tool suite in in a default workspace so now you can see that uh, uh, there is an open button you have to click on it and then it, it will open up in a moment so now you can see that it is going to the uh, uh, some default workspace but we'll create a different one uh, as part of the next video for now i'm just hitting cancel and it will be closed okay so this is how you can actually download and install the download will be um, the put tar file for mac for windows it could be different i'm not 100 percent sure but it will be similar either it will be zip file or it can be executable also which will install sts most likely it will be a zip file or it could be tar file so you just have to download unzip and then you will see the sts uh, um, uh, icon like this and you have to double click it and you, you will uh, see sts being launched as part of the windows <coughs> so that being said we have downloaded and installed sts and we are able to launch it also as part of the next video we will try to create simple maven application uh, because it already have the maven and uh, at that time we will also create the workspace that being said i hope you are enjoying the content on the uh, you are enjoying the content if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video if you want to give rating um, please give me good rating or if there are any issues please uh, raise your voice so that i can um, come i can um, come up with the solution and wait until you get the solution uh, to to rate uh, to rate the video and make sure you give good rating for for the video so that i can come up with um, more and uh, uh, more good quality content in future that being said thank you bye